Hello and welcome to episode 146 of the VR Verdict Podcast. I'm PJ. I'm Wookie. We'd like to share VR with you. <laughs> we fucked that up. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, well. So how's it going, man? It's been, I don't know, a month or two, something. <laughs> we, had, we had short episodes before that one. It's been all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, double shifts kind of stuff. We were, you know, going to revamp mostly through February. I try to get it done by then, and it's like that's when I started working all day and all night for a while. So, um, decompressing, getting back. <laughs> and then you got to invite me to this. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be talking mostly about breaches because we've been having so much fun in it. So mm-hmm. that's kind of our game plan for this this chat. This I have space. a, I I. Got a little angry before we started here. <laughs> oh, nothing big, but uh, I have a rock band party tomorrow night, so I went to grab some new songs. And like all of my songs that I've been gathering since the release of the game were not on my Xbox, so I had to. I'm having to sit there and download them one at a time. <laughs> it's gonna take me a long fucking time. <laughs> There used to be an option to say, do you want to grab all content you want for this game? Yep, that's gone. And now I have, I literally have like a, it's over a thousand songs. So I have to go. (laughs) Oh my God. Talk about UX failure. Yeah. So I'm going to watch something and then stream it to my phone and just handle it that way. (laughs) But geez. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it'll be worth it, but I wasn't expecting that, but uh, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> but here we are. That sucks. That's all. Um, other than before jump to Breachers, we have been playing a l- trying to play a little more No Man's Sky since the Interceptor update. But like, as, as much fun as that game can be and as little as there really is to kind of do, like my PC using Steam VR to play it, it's just not coded very well for that. It's just like, chugging lately fix that shit. come on yeah when i played on pc it would run great for like an hour and a half and then you just start seeing things like tear and stutter and I, if i rebooted i'd be fine for another hour so yeah i haven't really had that on the playstation 2 psvr 2 but it yeah i don't know it's weird I tried some, you know, people have some guides on who change these settings doesn't make a damn bit of difference no matter what I do. Um, no. It's just the game. I don't know if like their, their fixes for the Interceptor update have just made it run worse. Like it's, it's real, like for the first little bit, it was fine. We played that expedition. No problem. I might've been done using a controller. You were flat screen, weren't you? But then, yeah, I think so. Then we, when we tried the VR, maybe it was just right when the Interceptors update came out. It was fine. We'd play for a couple hours straight, maybe three. Yeah. No real problems. Like, well, you know, not the best frame rate, but I can handle it. And now it's just like screen black blocks. Like, it doesn't know what size the screen should be. Sometimes just just you, you fly out of the planet and the game does. I think that doesn't in the game. Maybe there's a mod to fix that if you really wanted to on PC. But it's like <laughs> just the CPU is hammered. And it's like, ah. And everything's on like the lowest setting by default, I guess, when you play Steam VR. Crank it if you want to, and then crank it. It's just like, well, come on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what what's up with that group, but again, when they launched PSVR two, like that game had a free update, and it looked great and it played great. Like there were, like it wasn't as clear as possible. But they updated it saying, hey, we fixed the graphics on the PSVR 2, and I think it's gotten a little worse. <laughs> it has it doesn't run any better. I'm like, what'd you do? So yeah, it's I don't know what's going on over there. Sean. Well, the fuck. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I watched some of his like when he does talks and stuff, and it's, he just likes to sounds like he likes to write video game engines from scratch. He's like, you know, not everybody, you know, like if all everybody uses Unity and Unreal, it'd become like eh. So he writes game engines from scratch. He wrote this one, but it's kind of like finish shit. I love all the updates, but like you don't need one every six weeks if you've got major performance problems on some stuff. Yeah, I'd rather they focus on UI and performance right now. Like 
the updates are great, like you said, and they're free, so you can't complain, but it's like, there's still some issues. <laughs> yeah, like performance, like the gradation. And again, it's just over, like, they've been punching out, I think, some updates for the Sentinel update. So it's kind of obvious that when I'm playing kind of regularly, a couple times a week at least, and I'm trying to, you know, find those ships, it's like, runs fine on VR no matter what, and then slowly gets worse with more updates. It's like, it's kind of obvious, unless my, P, my brand new laptop, gaming laptop, which has like, a cooling fan that kind of looks like this table and it, it it's ice cold no matter what i do that laptop i beat the cry like i crank things and it doesn't even get warm with that fan run it's insane unless that's dying which i don't i don't it. <laughs> it's like come on and there's other people saying like no matter what i do i can't get this game to run some people are like i could throw it on ultra and vr and steam and i don't believe them because everyone else is like no dice like it's just gonna run that way no fuck Anyway, enough of that. It's still a great game, but it, it does, if, especially like if you're not in VR all the time, like that's going to give you a headache. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah. It, 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 there's, there, honestly, there's not that much, like there's all these like weird things you can grind, but there's not that much to actually do that's engaging. So I just like to fly around and look at stuff, go hunting, you know, pets and ships and stuff. And it's just like that, that would still be kind of fine, but they can't give me that in VR. And if you guys haven't played that in VR, holy shit, the cockpits just like are come to life. Like you want to start pulling cords out and see what everything is made of. It, it's insane how cool that is. Yeah, it's like the coolest experience to, for me, like in VR, just on a art slash graphics set, you know, rating. Yeah. Like it's just amazing to be in there. But not if you're just using Steam VR with a decent PC, because it's like the, the, the amount of artifacting and like low res stuff, like it is visually an, a downgrade for me. But the experience of just being in VR is yeah. insane. So it still looks pretty, but I wish I could have the graphics off of like standard. There's like standard and something and something and ultra, and it's on standard. And I still can't get it to behave like that. It's like, God, but getting a little better. They added the the yaw, so you can just kind of like twist your virtual joystick. <laughs> kind of fix the flight combat. Flight combat kind of sucks in the game too, but at least I'm able to control the thing now, like organically. So I can just kind of drift around things, and even though they're just like, fly in your face, that's, um, I'm able to get around them doing that. <laughs> it's like in the middle of good updates, just performing. <laughs> yeah. Do every other. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Anywho. Preachers. The game that runs Preachers. Yeah, I haven't played it on Quest 1, like, natively, but I've played it on Quest 2 and PC, and yeah, it's fucking smooth. What, like, I haven't had an issue. <laughs> Mine will, uh, I think it's my PC, because it'll do it on No Man's Sky 2. So, like, every once in a while, it'll go, like, uh, and I'll have it, like, stutter quick. I think that could be like one drive being like, hey, let's update all your shit for no reason. And yeah. it's just freaking me out. I don't know. I've got to try to narrow that down. But as Twitch action as that game is, and I'm on a Quest 1 using Virtual Desktop Streamer like Steam. So there's a bunch of hops. And it's like, like doesn't matter what's going on. People blowing themselves up right next to you, landing in my lap. If it's, <laughs> I haven't had any graphical issues at all. Gaming uh, veteran is, is, the, is the man. But yeah, he he let an apple go and blew himself up. I still got to clip that out. He just got to clip yeah. Twitter about it. But like, I was sitting <laughs> there right like there in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there doing something, and then I look over because the I get the grenade like triangle flashing like danger. I'm like, um, <laughs> like he didn't drop it. He armed it and dropped it. If he dropped it, it's fine. But I'm like, um, I couldn't get the words out. In your video, you can kind of hear me going like, um, uh, yep. he's he's talking about something, and then just. <laughs> And his body hits me in the face, and I'm like bleeding to death because I got hit by the grenade. I'm like, what? Yeah. Everybody just started laughing. That was fucking yeah. great. We had a lot of good like, moments. The other Samson um, from Let's Talk Oculus podcast is yeah. playing with us, and he's trying to drone up for the first time. <laughs> he flies <laughs> it in, and it gets shot, and he doesn't realize it. So then he starts moving his body, thinking he's still in the drone. Running down the hallway at the enemies, like call, calling them out, and then he just drops, <laughs> thinking he's still in the drone. And PJ's like, "You're, you're not the drone anymore, buddy. You're not the drone." And it's so funny because he was like, 
in in a building and then over to the right this way and then like in a garage or something over there and he dies and he goes back to his body or the drone dies and then he does the same like did you just think you got like <laughs> rubber banded back it's so engaging because it's so smooth i can see making that mistake being like whatever i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing it it's it's a very well done game like no old school rainbow six nights suddenly back yeah. but in VR is nuts because I, I wasn't that big a fan of siege it was just sort of, it was too easy yeah. for people to to play weirdly cheaply and find their little patterns and it's like well that's not in the spirit of actually playing a and a game. the but this the different. buildings on siege were like tiny for what's going on where these yeah. buildings are pretty big there's like so many ways which is amazing but yeah. i think the beauty is in the simplicity like there's a lot of fun gadgets and guns, but not too much to where you're kind of like, don't know what the hell's going on with any of it. You know, there's just yeah. enough to keep track of, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a very good little squad based thing. And it's got the, you die and you're just a camera. So you, it kind of makes you slow down. Or you're just going to be, you know, in black and white in camera mode the whole night. So I missed that. When we first started playing, yeah. I was like, I hadn't had that in a while. And I was kind of like, is this still going to work for me? Because you get more matches in when it's, you know, run and gun. But then it's like, well, you don't really, it's not about how many bullets you shoot. It's like the fun you're having, like enjoy your time. So when you actually slow down and other people slow down and the bots aren't like too crazy, they're a little cheaty, like you said when I first, they're a little cheaty. <laughs> but like the slower action when you can actually like, you know, like get used to your guns and look around the corners, and it matters. Like it's so much more fun than when just straight run and gun. Yeah, and you can in VR. It's just amazing. You can literally like lean around corners and shit. It's just yeah, yeah. Repelling, which is I was that's on my video right there, probably not linked up. But like repelling, the one thing that Siege would have over Breachers is you can kind of I think you can go upside down. That's that game. So you can be repelling, and you can look up. You can be upside down looking in a window where they're not going to be expecting to see like a yeah. gun barrel coming from the corner. But then, like, I'm sitting there hanging off the thing anyway, like, leaning around doing the same thing. And it, it just, you know, when you, you feel the gravity on your body differently, it just yeah. connects you to the game more. So I'm just letting That's... other people take point, and I'm sitting there, like, sniffing <laughs> around corners. It's so, it's so much fun. A consistent thing I've seen on Twitter is people saying, this game got me excited about VR again. And I yeah. fully back that because it's... Aside from the early days of like Xbox Live, this has had the a feeling where I haven't had since like land parties were a thing. Like you would yeah. play for a while, you'd come back to the lobby and you'd all hang out like and we, we played a lot of land parties in a duplex. So we'd all mm -hmm. gather in one room and then split Talk off to a bunch of rooms. Eat some yeah. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> um so it's yeah. very nostalgic a nostalgia feeling for me that way. So in the old yeah. um the old Xbox Live, we, I mean, we played some of those old Rainbow Sixes. The Vegas, the Vegas 2, was the one before yeah. that one on regular Xbox? Is that still Rainbow Vegas? Six? Something. Um, with the tarmac map. <laughs> mm -hmm. When they still had a no-scope reticle for the 50 cal sniper, so I just run around and shoot <laughs> you in the leg and <laughs> get you. Yeah. Um, like, those nights, it feels just like that. Like, we, you, if you find a couple people... Which I didn't think we'd find, but you, you know, Samson and and D Max and uh, gaming veteran <laughs> having a regular crew, it's fun again, you know. Like, yeah, I wasn't playing much VR because I hadn't been working so much. But then No Man's Sky was like, get in there and have a little like, you know, flying around <laughs> stuff. And then this was just like, holy crap! Yeah, and it's nice because, you know, back in the first days of Xbox Live. We had like 30 people playing like every night yeah. and you couldn't fit. You could only have five on a team and you couldn't really like yeah. have a room of 10 playing your friends. It was so weird. Worst case scenario was when you had like 11 people. So you'd have to like yeah. try to organize who's <laughs> going to break that up. And then everyone's got a couple random. So that was, I sorely missed that stuff. Yeah. But then like, as time went on and games could actually hold that many people, people just dropped off and, you know, life happens. And it seems now like we can't get people to play like one night a month <laughs> or a year. It seems the, yeah. um, where it started to fall off seems to be like battlefield 1943 when they finally brought that like Xbox live arcade. It might've been on the 360 when it had like 
40 to 40 on 40 <laughs> or 60 on 60. And then yeah. that's kind of when we all played like for a week. And then, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah. oh, come on. Um, I haven't figured out how to fly the airplanes yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Breacher is just so fun. Like the gadgets, the pacing. Like I said, there's walls you can blow up. Um, and I think that's what kind of sucked about Siege. Like, I think they tried to to circumvent it, but like the other, like the defending team could blow up the walls. This one, they can't. Yeah. So you just kind of, you know, like I said, it's slower pace. There's less going on. Well, so you have turned, to be more creative. I think what Ubisoft wanted was some sort of, you know, eSport out of it. And that's just going to, I mean, no offense to against eSport folks, that's like a completely different way to play. Yeah. So nobody's sitting there like watching a pixel corner of a window where you know everyone's going to go because it's the obvious choke point sitting there clicking a mouse. Like, that's esports. That's different. <laughs> this is, you know, immersion stuff. And when all the gadgets just sort of are pretty tight, I don't think there's been uh, like a gameplay flaw in the whole thing. Has there? No. I and haven't four had night, or Three, four nights we played? No. So you're shooting solid? Like you don't like think, I should have hit that. Like you know you missed. It's not just like I thought. But sometimes the bots headshot you before they should be able. <laughs> yeah. But the only that's... issue I had was I flashed um, one of those guys once and it didn't seem to phase him. But I didn't literally behind. see oh. where it landed because I threw it down through the roof. <laughs> so maybe it's yeah. fine. But other than that, I, think... I haven't had a single issue. For the, uh, yeah, that was like one thing. Like for the experience, it should be if you drop it in like a, a rooftop hole. It should flash people a little bit more easy because you're just jumping in blind. So unless somebody's like yeah. literally looking at the floor or behind the wall, but it looked like there was a pallet of stuff and you can kind of see the bot when, when he shot you, like in your camera. Because it was like his eyes were looking right at the flasher. <laughs> and if I could flash myself after like chucking it as hard as I can down a hallway, you can flash. So yeah, that, that would be it. Like, but yeah, it has, um, cross buy on the meta side so any headset you get it if you buy it once cross play for all systems so wookie's on steam i'm on meta and zero had, issues like <laughs> again not picking on no man's sky too hard but like that's it has cross play in which we're grateful but thank god they put discord on the consoles because now it's like you can actually get voice chat because yeah cross play sometimes we i can't invite anybody on xbox or or steam like if I can't remember what the, the thing was, but like if I was on Steam, I couldn't invite our nephew Logger who was on Xbox, but he could invite you. And it was just like, it was the same on squadrons. Same on squadrons. So goofy, goofy crossplay shit. This thing just, I, I forgot that was a problem. They just yeah. said, you know, crossplay. And I was like, oh yeah. And that, no barrier. that is huge because we've tried many times with other games like, we just want to play for two hours on a Thursday night or something. You hop on, there's either an update, some shit won't work, something's happening, like, there's this friction. Haven't had a, a bit of it. None. None. And some of it's like you got to figure, like, when I first, after I did the tutorial, which is really well done, paste, just here's all, here's how you use the tools. That's it. Um, I got in and I was trying to figure out how to launch a bot match. I didn't know you had to hit the little red button because I wasn't reading the giant sign. So that's like yeah. a different UI thing, but I just wasn't reading. Um, whereas I think last Thursday we tried to do a stream session with No Man's Sky. So I set up OBS, yeah. <laughs> got it all working on my laptop. And then that's when I first got the real bad performance for No Man's Sky. And then looked and like I was playing No Man's Sky actually needed an update, but it would let me play. So I updated that and then I couldn't do anything. And then so I updated the video card. And then when I rebooted, then Steam updated. And then when I think Windows updated and it, like everything <laughs> did an update right then and there. And it's like, this has been running fine for weeks. The only new thing was the streaming and then the, the No Man's Sky update. I was ready. Like that was like 30 minutes of me just wanting to flip tables. It's like, yeah, so hard. I mean, I get it. I, I don't, I don't know how hard it is to make that game because, you know, it's it's the genius level whatever is going on, but it's like, oof, that user experience. I know they love Destiny. They keep you know, <laughs> the UI and the cape and the hood hood helmet and stuff like that's fine, but make it work. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. But 
back to breachers. That's comparison only. Let's, let's, it's, let's talk about uh, um, gadgets. What's your favorite? Uh, cloak. I don't know how effective it is, but it seems to be doing really well. <laughs> so um, there's two teams attacking, defending, obviously. Blue and yellow. Totally different sets of gear, which is awesome. Well, the guns um, are the same. The gadgets are different. Yeah. So defense gadgets, trip wires, and little alarms, like triggers and stuff like cool that. Cool thing. Door blocker. You can put this thing in a door, and it'll block the door. Your team can pass through it, but the other team has to, like, shoot it a bunch. Really cool. Mm -hmm. um, little shock traps that slow you down. Um, but, like, alarms and bombs. Like, yeah. I guess I'm the... I, I have really good luck with the, the proximity sensor on, on the defending side. I seem to always get a beep on it. So. A spot. Yeah, that one doesn't have a laser. So you, the trip mine, you got to kind of pick a spot where they're not going to see the laser. But I've done it where, like, again, it was blocked, but there's like a doorway and then a couch just slid over. I stuck it to the couch. Two bots ran in. Neither, the bomb went off. Neither one died. I lean out to shoot and I get headshot. I think I should have finished one of those guys off with the partial clip I unloaded, but no. Um, that's the only trick with that. I don't know where to place it that humans wouldn't see it, but I just haven't, you know, figured that out. The drone's fun. The attackers with the drones, they have like a, the cloaking thing is just nice. If you can see it on the video if you watch that. Um, and I, yeah, it's absolutely the cloak. I love the the breaching foam. It's a little canister. You get three charges, and you spray it on the walls with X's. And you punch the top, and the wall blow up. <laughs> so cool. And you can use it as a distraction or, you know, really breach and clear on Zoom. Yeah, you're type through that, action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of wish it would probably be overkill, so I'm glad. I'm glad they didn't, but you could only spray one at a time. You get three sprays with it. But like I would be the one spraying like you know three different walls around the target yeah. site and then blow them all at once and scare the hell out of everybody. But that would get really old. <laughs> um, they have a the only weak one is a smoke grenade because it just kind of brings in a <laughs> sphere, and, and it looks like a sphere of magic smoke. Um, but people seem to just shoot through it. Yeah. And like not that the smoke's gonna stop bullets, but I kind of have died when I try to you know use it as an escape method. Uh, <laughs> and then when I shoot and, into uh, it, the boss will come running out of it. And I'm like, how did you not just die? But... Yeah, and they have <clears throat> team deathmatch, but there's only one map for it. That's kind of the weakest point right now, but it just came out. So, but they have fun. then the the verses, which is you know. Defenders defending two bombs, attackers attacking, which normally I don't like game types, but this is like perfect because mm -hmm. kind of does turn into team deathmatch. Like I've only seen a like the you get an EMP charge and you set it on a wall and you got to do a couple of frequency things. Yeah. And then they have to disarm it. Yeah. I've only seen that really go off one time out of my whole time playing. <laughs> yeah. I think it was, yeah. I set it but, every time I get, but it, yeah. it turns into bloodbath before it works. Yeah, which every game that has that game type, it's the same. I don't know how you fix that, but it's definitely a game where if your team's not using strategy or talking, you you don't do well compared to other people that are. <laughs> but we've only been playing bots for the most part, and we've just been having fun. We did one night where we opened it up, and uh, it didn't seem to go too poorly. I couldn't hear anybody, so I didn't know if anybody was going to be an asshole or screaming, but hopefully, you know, the VR can be a little bit less. Yeah, annoying. like my, and again, it was brand new, but my first stream on our YouTube channel, I'm playing with totally random people, and every person on my team was fucking hilarious. We were having so much fun. Hmm. <laughs> it was it was like a breath of fresh air, because, again, Wookie and I are old and have come from being online a long time, and it's... We've been in party chat for like a decade, <laughs> like strictly party chat. More so opening that, up too, again, like... VR community is a little better. Um, still pretty much this, you know, still pretty much that way. Like it hasn't been tainted too much yet, but 
Like we were around when like Penny Arcade was like actually writing comics before they got <laughs> reviewed. They did. And then one of them had this thing. It was like, it sounds like a robot's fucking my ear. And that we were there because <laughs> Xbox Live on the old OG Xbox used to have voice filters. You could sound like this. Or you could, it would turn you into a freaking robot. And if it was like yeah. a little high pitched person, that would just be screeching and they would all have it. And it was like, oh my God. And you had to try to find the mute button. Um, that's how long we've been playing and it just didn't work. But yeah, like the dream is just to be able to truly drop in, drop out with random people and actually like enjoy the night. It's still a strange yeah. concept to me. Like I play <laughs> Grand Theft Auto online by myself because people suck. I haven't played it in ages, but like, oh, <laughs> I gotta sit here. The one camera angle doesn't get us both if I switch to it. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Put the turd here. Okay. Um, <laughs> poop there. Poop. Poop here. Um, but yeah, like like I said, it's it's just so nice, and not knocking any indie devs or anything like that, but to have a game like the the gameplay, the matchmaking. It's tight. I'm sure they have a bunch of stuff they're going to add, or and maybe they got stuff to fix. But I don't. I don't see much. It's it's really just. It is just nice to. to it's like a weird complete package. The gameplay is nice. The the experience is nice. The UI isn't bad at all. And then the people have been fun. Like I don't know. <laughs> the last time we had that was I don't remember which Star Wars probably Battlefront 2 on the old Xbox or some yeah. guys like I'm going to rub peanut butter on your uncle making 40 people laugh <laughs> um, don't know what it meant but uh, <laughs> like this is what we need in games not just VR like yeah, we need, we need whatever this uh, recipe is right here I hope it stays this way and doesn't get in like, Siege mutated because I wanted yeah. to love Siege so bad. I was like, oh, this could be great. And then it just turned into and that's something else. Kind of what I'm saying. Like, it's just small enough, simple enough. But, you know, as they want to add stuff to the game, they do run that danger of kind of ruining it, in my opinion. So I hope they don't. When you're the drone and people start shooting at you and they can't hit you. That is, a, it's no danger to you. It's just exhilarating. You're like this drone trying to be like, and, and it's, <laughs> that alone is hilarious. It's, it's yeah. nuts. And then being like one of the last two alive and you're trying to set off the little EMP charge. So you've got like a gun in one hand and you're looking over a counter trying to hack the thing. Your heart starts racing. Like I haven't had that genuine stuff. I mean, I'm going to keep gushing over it. I don't have any, any complaints about the game. That's why we're here. <laughs> the grenades are in, uh, the grenades, when you throw them, they seem like they're a little bit, you're throwing it underwater. So yeah, the, there's a basketball court in the, in the lobby and I've made one <laughs> basket. It's just kind of like when you throw stuff, it's like, Bleh. so I don't want it too cheaty, but a little bit. A little I just don't want to wear my arm out after throwing so much. Right. The, some people are like, oh, we just do it underhand, but I've just been like, it was like, you do a punch method, but if you have room to swing your arm, like, you know, you're throwing a shuriken or something, drawing your katana, you just be like, chuck it like this, like a little bit backhand. You get just enough to throw it and it goes straight. Yeah. I've gotten like 15 feet out on one grenade, which doesn't sound like much, but. I do really well throwing all that stuff underhand. My left hand is underhand looking over. My right hand is like the other one. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean. How long has it been since a game where you sat there thinking about like this is how I do this in this game? Like it's I my yeah. main thing when I play games is practicing to either teach other people how to play to fast track them so we can have a good game night when they don't have enough time to play, or still just practicing because it's like this game loop is fun, and I'm gonna sit here like on Grand Theft Auto Five in the biplane and like practice landing on the runways. <laughs> it's never gonna come in handy, but yeah. It didn't, like this game's got it. It's like, oh, and, you know, you, the guns have attachments, so you can just kind of buy attachments after a round or two. And it's like they they're pretty tight. There's you know, the scopes are good. They're not necessarily hard to see through or anything. 
you're sitting there thinking everyone in the group is like which which scope do you prefer before the timer runs out kind of a thing like they want to know which one to use and it's it's just fun yeah i do like the mechanic of they have like a buy system for weapons and stuff and you start out first round everyone's using handguns which i dig <laughs> yeah but as you do you know you do well you can buy stuff but if you die you lose all of it you keep your money but like you can take parts off of other people you've killed or your teammates like if they had a health stem on them you can find their body and take the health stem and it just really adds a whole nother layer of like really moving slow and just checking your corners and stuff and yeah it gets pretty intense some of the people we played with they don't really realize i think that when you like you can purchase like you know your your sidearm your main gun and then you've got some gear over here so you can purchase like two different grenades and i don't think they realize yeah you can just try to tell them but you just tap the grenade to unbuy it because you only have two and everything grays out and like oh i guess i'm stuck with this. but then somebody learned that you can just like drop them off yourself and it'll highlight back up but they don't get their money back i don't think it's just the grenades on the floor they started dropping them and i'm sitting there like i have full gear and i'm sitting there picking up <laughs> grenades I have so many grenades. And uh, I was like, want them back? So, I mean, it, cute little <laughs> things like that to to just kind of figure out as you go. So it, it's got just enough, you know, learning the attachments, learning. We didn't know you could, like, swing off the rope and kick off and then, like, burst through the, the boarded windows until someone showed us that. We didn't even know we could get scopes or anything because <clears throat> that's what I like. Anyway. You keep learning things, but. Yeah, it's it doesn't not, really like force it on you. <laughs> right. So here's a gun, use it, and then you can kind of work with it. Because like uh, when you, you buy the stuff, you have a panel to buy it all. And then you're just like, okay, bought it. But like you close the buy window, pick out your, pick up your gun. There's no thing. There's no anything. It's just your gun. The buy window is open. Then you, that's where you see all your attachments. Yeah, we didn't know you could even do that. So we were just around no attachments doing iron sights. And then somebody mentioned like, oh, crap, there's there's this and that. And then I was like, oh, if you need to switch hands, if you're like gripping your gun, your handgun, you grip it with the off hand and then let go with your main hand, it just switches to your off hand. That's so kind of like cheaty. But if you, you're like, I'm sucking, you know, I can't throw my grenade with this hand and I just want to switch and throw it like overhand with my main hand. It, it, it's just there and it works. <laughs> I love games like that because when you're holding the rifle, you can let go of the main hand and you still have your off hand gripped on the stock. And it doesn't freak out. There's some games where I try to do that. Like, I, I don't want to drop my main gun, but I just, I'm, I'm, instead of reloading, I just want to pull up the sidearm and use it on somebody. And they don't let you do that all the time. And it just drives me nuts. You like put it away and then pull out your sidearm. No. No. Yeah. But just the other thing that's cool detail. when you are buying stuff at the start of matches, you can see your other teammates' loadouts, which is awesome. But yeah, you can great. look at these guys if you're watching the video, you can look at them and tell what they have on them. Like at a quick glance, whether it's your teammates or the other team, I think that's awesome. <laughs> you can kind yeah. of guess what might happen. Or like I said, if they die, you can, you can scrounge it off their bodies. The only thing we, we seem to run into is, um, you know, if you have, and we're all kind of uh, guilty of this, like you just kind of, find yourself in in a certain spot and their whole team is there you may get all the kills you might die but sometimes the match is like over in 30 seconds but it just seems like every match um we, we I, I felt like i was hogging all the kills a couple times <laughs> like i'm sorry yeah. they're all right here <laughs> sometimes you got like you know everyone else has five kills for the whole game and we're back in the things one of us has like 17 on the you know, we've got like a double digit and everyone else has single and it feels bad. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? Yeah. So I guess I'll... Because if you... I, it, it is a weird thing. If you like take your time, you may not ever see anyone the round then. But you also, if you go in too fast, you're dead anyway. So it's like, there's a really weird happy medium to find in there. There is. If you take your time, like I said, like you're into the... Um, to the immersion thing, and you're just like, you're, you're taking it seriously, checking your corners, you might be the last one alive, and then you have to be the hero, and then the pressure's on. But like, you, you average out, you'll still get kills, but like, I think it's just more fun to, you know, take your time. Sometimes I go yeah. insane and just run in and accidentally do that stuff. But 
Yeah. I, it's like the first couple matches of each evening. Like I'm just running in and dying. Like, okay, stupid. Like, yeah. Pump the brakes. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, the bots do get a little headshotty, but it, it kind of similar to, I mean, people are going to be probably worse than that. Real people. Yeah. But it does seem like if you're not taking it slow, they're going to see you faster and shoot you fast. Like if you're, I don't know if that's just my imagination, but like that when you, forget that you need to slow down, you just get annihilated by the bot, mm -hmm. which I, I appreciate. But, I mean, it's if you didn't have bots, because I love the inclusion of bots, I do think they could add a couple difficulties, but mm -hmm. it lets you jump in and play, and people can join your lobby anytime. It's jump in, yeah. jump out, fills it with bots, and yeah. it doesn't interrupt anything. Like, even with that, like some games that normally, like, stutters or something mm -hmm. <laughs> when someone leaves or yeah, you don't even, even notice <laughs> we had two guys named enzo when somebody dropped out of our team so we got another teammate with the same name that was the only problem <laughs> does that even care no two bots um yeah this is a uh, it's good i've been meeting actually i've been this has been since like the second night we played i've been riding this high keep telling people like i think it was samson who said at the end of the second night it was like Working, you're going to give me nightmares. Like, I'm going to have nightmares <laughs> tonight. I still don't know why. Um, I think you just exactly. crept up on him and got him by surprise a couple times. It gives me maybe that I was using the cloak a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, that made my day. I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> because I haven't played any, like, we, the last time we played Call of Duty. Um, when... Uh, when I was, how was I playing? I think I was streaming to my tablet because Xbox streaming was like awesome to me. I'm like testing it out. So I was playing that. I could hear through their mics, the, our team, <laughs> yeah. and the game chat through the mic or through the, through those, the headset there. But they could, I was in party chat and I, they couldn't hear that. So I could hear everybody. It was really funny because this one guy kept going like, oh shit, it's Wookie. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and that makes you feel funny because when you're just wiping the floor with people and, Great. But that was like, is that the one before Ten Ghost? Years ago? Yeah. We played, it might have been Black Ops 3. We did play that one quite a bit. We played two the most, but two the most, but that was like, mm, it, was, it was the wall running one. I, no, maybe not. I can't remember that. Um, <laughs> I was horrible too. <laughs> anyway, but for PG breachers, really good and like <laughs> to finally get back into a game where you like you feel like you can actually do something in the game. It's pretty nice in a competitive shooter. Yeah, I honestly hope they don't add weapons, gadgets. I hope they add maps first. Yeah. I would fucking love a four player co op campaign. Even a single player campaign, I'd I'd lose it. I'd a um, four player co op campaign. Even yeah, if it's like I'd not be... voice acted or you know, if it's no. just more like if they introduce <laughs> map like that. They don't need a story love zero caliber, but that story and the voice acting are like <laughs> Love it. It's laughable. But it's like yeah, it's kinda like they're taking our water and <laughs> yeah. um but I don't even want like skins for guns, outfits maybe, as long as they don't get too weird. <laughs> yeah. But I know like, you know, you got to keep updating things and that's kind of the new normal, which I'm not a big fan of. But like I said, I just don't want them to lose the balance it has because I think it's like almost perfect right now. Too many games do that. And that's just yeah. the curse. Like the, it comes out and it's like great. And then they're like, we, we have to keep the momentum. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, Star Wars Galaxies in 2002 or three or whatever, and like, they just games just do that. Here's your first month is awesome. Let's just fuck it in the ass <laughs> with a lead pipe. Like, why? Why did you do that? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we play a lot so far. I want to keep that going, I hope. If anyone watching or listening ever wants to play, hook us up on Twitter. Hit us up on Twitter, I guess. Look <laughs> us up and hit us up. 
Don't hook us up. I mean, you can try, but I'm married, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, partners might get mad. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm down to play this like once a week until people stop playing it. Like, yeah, we've been having that much fun. Like I said, it's just I love seeing the comments. Like this really made me love VR again because I mean, there's a lot of great games out there, but. I haven't seen many like pull people together because like the few that do that I've seen like um, here we go with me and fucking names population one like I have fun in that game I but it it does not draw me in and the player base is a lot of younger people which doesn't always work out for everybody so um, yeah yeah it's been that's half of the like whatever magic this game has hit. Um, it, I don't want them to mess like, with it. Said, like, there's three or four, you know, main ingredients there that are just like working for everybody. The slowing it down, the simple but like you know, deep sort of strategy you can get out of it. The gadgets, I mean, it's it's just right. Yeah, I would not want them to. I would wish they wouldn't just screw it up. Yeah, I have faith. You know? I wouldn't. I always like different guns, but my curse is. <laughs> Once I feel like okay, I'm, I've got my, I got a handle on this game, then I start tweaking, or like a loadout, and then it sometimes it just goes downhill from there. And I should just go back to the basic <laughs> default and uh, that loadout they give you, like delete them all, and hopefully they just set it up. That's what got me to buy Black Ops Two. <laughs> like we rented it. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna buy any more of these games unless we're all playing them. I rent it. Everyone's playing it. I'm killing everybody. Buy the game. Can't hit anybody anymore. Wow. Not here though. This is fun. And it's one of those games like it's very accessible for everyone, but when you do get like a good like one shot headshot, like you really feel like you earned it and like you're top of the world. Like it just does that. And I haven't had a game do that for a while either. Just makes you feel like Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> it's just like I said, the shooting's good enough for if you're using iron sights, especially when you don't know that you can buy a scope. Um, like one of the first me. matches, <laughs> yeah. The, the one of the first matches we like, I joined in. They were playing team deathmatch. PJ's killing everybody, and he's like all the way across the map, and I can just see his gun in his face, and I just go with a <laughs> starter handgun with no gear or anything, right in the side of the head, headshot. Yeah. I was like, I am Rocky Balboa. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't know who else said Rambo. I don't know. Same actor, but it was it just. It's an accomplishment. Some games it's too easy. Some games it's like we're gonna work. This game is just, just right. You're not always gonna hit that headshot, but it doesn't feel like it was robbed. It just feels like okay, I need to slow down a little bit more. When we're I mean, look at this guy. He's he's from the game and he's running back in. He can't wait to get back in there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, getting people with laser sights when you do slow sneak around. Gotten a couple times where somebody like a human player is looking at, you know, like the other door, and you can just like line up the laser sight in the back of their head, and you feel kind of bad, but then it's like <laughs> two of those, you know, double tap just to make sure. It it is, it's a pretty good feeling. Yeah, and that's one thing I don't think a lot of us have experienced in this game because we have been playing closed rooms. I'm pretty sure if you know you're playing with. With humans on the other team, if you kill someone, I think they can hear you and you can hear them for a moment, like when they're oh. dead. Because I've heard, like, I killed someone and you just hear them, like, scream. And that, that is pretty cool. <laughs> like, if you sneak up behind them, get the drop on them and just scare the crap out of them. That is. Cool. I like that. Um, as long as people don't go around teabagging. Yeah. It just makes, you know, I'm just going to target you for the rest I, of the time. I'm sorry I ever invented that. I, I really do apologize. Did you invent it? I I honestly, I probably didn't, but I honestly think I might have. Because <laughs> going back to Xbox, before One. Xbox Live was a thing, there was this thing, I'm not going to remember the name of it, but there was this really early days service to play Halo, the first Halo online, and it was terrible. But I was on there playing people. I think it might have even been right before that. 
It was, it, and I'm, I think it might have actually turned into that. But I would never seen anyone do this. It, Xbox Live. it was fantastic. Yeah, but I'd never seen anyone teabag anyone. I teabag someone because I thought it'd be funny. And I was saying it was weird because then Xbox Live launched. I beta tested it before it did. It was cool. On Halo 2, when live launched, I ran into some of those same people, and then I just saw them all teabagging people. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know. That's how long I've been playing. <laughs> yeah. PJ the teabagger. Mm-hmm. Now I hate it. <laughs> yeah. I curse myself. True story. <laughs> True story. True story. Um, but I mean, another sign of like how much we've had fun with this. Like we haven't been doing regular episodes because of life and things, and we're working on stuff. But kind of wanted to come talk about this, and I'm working on talking to the devs, having them on too soon. So we'll see. Because it's just been that much fun. Like I just want to tell them, like they could just pop in for two minutes and be like, "Thank you." <laughs> That's all. Yeah. I need. It's pretty good. And it's such a good fit. Again, I, we haven't played with that many random people, but like sometimes I get a little competitive. So if somebody keeps killing me, then I'll just be like, you know, like I try to control it. It just happens to people. This game doesn't really matter what the hell happens because it's, I don't know if it's just in the VR and it's not like run and gun and you're like, you're on, on edge the whole time. Like you're, the suspense is in there. But if there's like a good kind of gunfight down a hallway, or if you just like someone gets the grenade on you, it you laugh. It's like mm-hmm. it's just fun. Doesn't matter what. Like it is also it is like when you we you kind of said earlier, like when you do get killed, you're just kind of like a ghost, and you can. It's the same controls as the drones, so it's actually good practice. You can. Go up and down, mm-hmm. fly around. You can see everything but the other team. It's really neat. If you die, you can't see them unless they're like shooting. So you can like tell it's your teammates, yeah. like, um, you can still point out. And that's another thing we didn't mention. You can uh, push a button and mark spots with your number. And yeah. you can still do that when you're dead. So you can kind of help them, even though you can't see the other team. I think that's really, really cool. It's, yeah, because if you're, Teams already kind of communicating. You you know each other, whatever. You probably don't need it because you're going to be calling out and laughing and crying. But then when if you're getting <laughs> ran, uh, randoms, and at least you know if you see one of their bodies show up for a second while you're zooming around, they're shooting or something like that. You can mark it for that the rest of the team that might not be communicating. It's like just simple, but it it does its job very well. Again, if and you're then- breaching in the windows and you see a guy down the hall you can tap and say hey there's a guy on one because my marker is number one or two or whatever just really quick simple and it, it's really neat yeah the drone when you're droning you can click and say like there's two guys on four yeah uh, if you see a guy run down the hallway and you don't want to give yourself away like you just said it's nice to be able to just mark them you don't have to be like uh up th- third third floor second door from the bathroom yeah and you, you can around with that. The same button you can mark like doorways, like to break in, like hey, let's break in here and stuff. So you don't, you don't, you communicate much better that way. I think. Yeah. Or hey, I'm going to spray this door, and you can mark it. It's really cool. Or if you play really, really tactical, and you got like a squad leader, and you pick a leader, you can like <laughs> see it being like, okay, yeah, you two go up in that window. We're going to go in the door here and pinch, pincer move. <laughs> Blank steak time, bitches. <laughs> I flunked flank. <laughs> but I mean, I don't have anything new to say, but I just keep sitting here gushing about it, like you said. So, five on five, you can have bots. There's team deathmatch and the defend attack mode, bomb, or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, all you got to do is add some maps, and they're set. I think it's perfect. Very, I mean, don't wait for maps. It's playable as yeah. fuck right oh, yeah. now. <laughs> I'm sure they're... I'm sure they like would add the, maps. The bombs and spawn, like, they're all random within a parameter, so you never know, and it's it's just really neat, because 
I don't know, I've played it five, six nights now, and I still don't really know the layout. <laughs> Yeah. Even though they have on the website, you can download PDFs of the layouts and like plan your strategies and stuff. But I wish, not that I want everything to be procedurally generated, but I wish like games like this, like you would never really know the layout because then everyone yeah. goes slow. That's my dream. Yep. Like, I, I don't want people to n- know the map that well. Yeah. Um, but but give me the tools to make it through alive, I guess. Yeah. But we were we were entering a building the other night, and you can punch the wall, you can shoot them, you can punch the breakable windows and all that. Um, I broke one open. There's three of them just standing there looking at me, and it was like, "Holy fuck!" Like that. That's a feeling that you can only get in VR. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember if I lived. I think I shot down my zip line, and I I didn't die right then, but it was it was pretty intense. <laughs> You're just like. That's never happened before. <laughs> and the bots are weird. There was one where they were coming in a window, and I saw two, and I dropped one, and I went to reload, and I didn't see the second one, so I assumed he ran down the hallway. So, stupid me, before I'm completely done reloading or whatever, which the reloads are nice. All you got to do is just put the clip in, and it's got a little timer, but the type of gun just like shotguns are be slower. You don't have to do all the complicated stuff. I like that complicated stuff, but... You don't need it in every single game. Yeah, this game, it's, it's fine. It's, yeah, it's just fun. But when it came back around, that dumb NPC jumped back out the window immediately. Like, it would take you a while to grip and try to pull yourself through. And then I'm running, like, still not done reloading, and he just kind of drops back in from the window. Like, just hopped in and out of the window all day, <laughs> waiting for me to run by and shoot him. I was like, that could have gone better. That's just AI for you. Still laugh. Um, yeah. The other thing I do want to mention, I forgot till now. So they have option, a lot of options, great options. One is um, crouching. You can press a button and crouch. You can crouch in real life, but they have a smooth crouch, which I fucking love. Yes. So you can hit up and down on, the, on your joystick, and you can pick your level of crouch because there is a lot of cover. So you can really get you know, down below something and just poke your head up. Yeah, you can poke your gun up like... It is amazing. Like, it's that's like fucking as, cool. As you move your joystick a little bit, you go down and it'll stop. It's, it's like incremental. It's yeah. just, it is perfect. I think some people are like, that's, nope, not, not interested. But I was like, oh, hell yeah. Because then you could just, you just, just over like, you, you know, you can barely see you did enough to shoot and you feel like you're really, you know. Like, you know, it works so well. Wookie was fucking doing the fucking stare joke shit in the lobby. oh yeah I was, I was going like oh look at me and i was like boop, boop, boop. oh god i forgot about that an idiot yeah. <laughs> but i think that's cool, the first cool, time cool. i've ever seen that in a game ever and I've it was it, it like fucking blew my mind it still blows my mind it's just perfect you can be walking and just like <laughs> it's kind of like the dino of shooter game setting like it's just yeah. like spot on you know nailed it i don't know if i've ever used the word like name of a game is like that's like (laughs) perfect (laughs) yeah i want to go play really bad (laughs) i bet the uh significant others on their shouting cat name so kind of want to stay in vr and Pretend that ignorance is bliss and I don't have to pay for it later. Yeah. But yeah, Wookie, I believe you play seated, I play standing. I don't think you've had any real problems. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Some games can't pull that off. The only issue I have is sometimes, you know, like seated, if your pack gun gun holster down here is a little lower, you gotta kinda like lean up so you don't punch your couch. But they're very forgiving and I don't think everybody probably likes it, but certain things you like, you use the grip button, at least on when I'm using yeah. the grip button to pull your grenade off, but you use your trigger, left trigger, to pull the clip out of the bag. I kind of like that, so you don't accidentally grab all your grenades. I'm just asking for an option <laughs> to pick. <laughs> right. Um, just because, like, it, it is kind of higher up, so you can kind of just use the trigger over here. If you grip, I think they're for ease of use because sometimes like the uh, the two pieces of gear you have are a little off to the side 
and I haven't had any problem like just randomly moving my left arm over left past my chest and I grab that far piece of gear. Other games, it's like it's a nightmare. I gotta look down <laughs> and like you know investigate every time. But this one, I'm starting to learn like you, you don't have to. So they've kind of nailed the positioning, and I don't know if that setting would jive because maybe if you use grip over here, you might get the grenades because of what they're well, I don't know. So I've gone to reload, and I use grip because that's what ninety percent of VR game. That's why it's a grip button, and I've like, oh shit, I didn't grab one and pop. <laughs> So I, it makes me fucking laugh, but it's like, damn it. <laughs> as long as you're not like grabbing your grenade, like, why do I have this trying to shove like the willy peak? No, because if you're standing, your if you're standing, it's, it's quite, I don't think that would happen. So I mean, yeah, I just, there's I just like option. There's a height button and it feels like I'm just playing the game normally. I just don't yeah. have a lot of room to punch walls. Or, but like your ammo, if I'm standing up, it's down on my hip, like way down, and the grenade's like up on my shoulder. So I don't think there'd be a problem. Yeah, the ammo is down here, but like I'm saying, there's the, the, there's like a grip zone for the ammo a little higher up, so you don't have to be like in the pack. You can just yeah. kind of use your trigger button just about anywhere and below. And I, I know that's not like probably technically correct, but the fact that I don't have to look down and be like. Okay, where yeah. is it? Because it's like zero caliber, great game, but it's sometimes it's just it's just in the front, but it's trying to like grab the stuff. It's like I swear to God, I'm doing the same motion every time to like do this, <laughs> do this, do that, and I'm missing them. Yeah, it's kind of like I blame my all my typos on the keyboard, and probably half of them, maybe fifty, yeah, <laughs> are actually me. But it's just still like ah, you know. I don't. I didn't mean to do this motion. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if they did have a character creator, you can bet I'd be like, see you in 40 minutes, guys. Like, every night. <laughs> You're like, I gotta get that color just, just right. Yeah. So, so please don't add that. It's fine. Yeah, it's really nice that it's just solid colors. Team is blue, team is yellow. Like you, you just instantly know you should be shooting at that person. So, like I said, they kind of went back to basics, and I, I really fucking like that. <laughs> yeah. So, again, well, we've hugged it enough. Hit us up. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll be talking to the devs soon. Hopefully, we'll be back on a set schedule sometime soon. Um, again, we haven't had any issues that we thought we should here, so kind of thinking we just get back on till we do what we gotta I do. I don't know. side by side it, yeah. Let's just get back yep. on that one again. So, yeah. But everyone, thanks again for listening, hanging out. We'll be back more, more often, getting steady. Um, seeing some cool shit. And all that jazz. <laughs> jazz it up. So again, thanks to Triangle Factory for an awesome game. I'm yes. having so much fun. It's nice. This, <laughs> this could be a top five game for me. Top ten. I mean, there's too many time it goes on. So many games, but like VR games, I mean, love all the experiences and all that stuff, but they, sometimes they don't get you as much as like Witcher 3 to me, or some people like Dark Souls. Like, there's just those flat games that are just like, they're just too good. GTA. This game is like memorable. <laughs> like, no. Holy shit. I mean, you don't know how much we played Rainbow Six. I mean, we, we've said to that in here, like, we, we lived and breathed this shit, and it's like, not that it's just, it's back, and it's just like it was, no, it's like, back, updated, better, in VR, simple and clean. Yeah. Like, one of my best kills, I wish we would have known how to, like, record or stream this, yeah, Peter's heard this a million times, but playing one of those Rainbow Six games, and you can, like, turn on heat vision, and had, like, C4, I'm the last one left, and I think DJ, one of our friends, is left, <laughs> and I'm hiding in the bathroom and I hear footsteps and I kind of see red by go by the door. So I click my C4, blow his body out the window and it lands on PJ. Like, and they couldn't <laughs> find me. They were like, where the hell is this asshole? 
And I'm sitting there like just like sneaking around. I felt like Splinter Cell and not a Splinter Cell game. Like it was like the Predator. And it was yeah. fucking awesome. And it's just all Rainbow Six. Just the slowdown. The only time the slowdown bit us in the ass was when a different friend of ours hid in like this is Vegas too, I think, <laughs> hid in a fucking cubicle farm and then went and took a fucking shower and got on the or <laughs> he got on the exercise bike and then took a shower and then the game didn't boot him. How long did that yeah. one last? That was like 15, 20 minutes. It was, yeah, the timer on the rounds was 15 minutes. And I was running like around like a, like hell. Like, where the hell is this guy? He's just hiding in the cube anyway. But yeah, going all the <laughs> shit. And it just feels like this game isn't like as in depth as that. It doesn't have to be. But the magic is there. And that's all that matters. Like, yeah. Find your friends. Don't have friends. I'm sure there's, Go to their Discord and something, you know, get in touch with us. Find some people to play with because you deserve to try this game out. If you like shooters at all and you're willing to slow down a little bit, fucking rad. Rad is no. cool again. <laughs> Wookie says he has spoken. <laughs> Tear your arms out of your sockets if you don't. Dude, I saw fucking uh, Star Wars Riot Shield last night in the last episode of Mandalorian Season 3. Fucking rad. That's all I'll say. You got to spoil it? That's not really a spoiler, but... <laughs> How big would my boner have been if I'd seen it? Just kidding, that's fine. <laughs> Scene three for The Mandalorian while we're still here. It's been a little weird. It's been so like been... this, but I've liked it better than season two, I think. I, I'm just starting to run together because I've kind of seen them once, but like, I don't remember exactly what the arc of season two was but like well there was only one real slow episode in season two for me where they're like on that weird farm planet the coolest thing was the red two-legged walker but the rest was like eh. that's season one was it yeah hmm. yeah i'm getting they're all running together for me. so i just started watching like i was sitting there i was like waiting for one of the next episodes of season three so i just started seeing one and go over again it's like episode six that's, that Pretty sounds great. right. Because they come back to get her to help Storm yeah. Navarro. And that's, that might be season two. Um, but yeah, there was an episode with Jack Black. <laughs> and I was kind of like, none of this makes any goddamn sense. Just this cheese ball. Like, yeah. It's still the... Like I'll take it over the movies. <laughs> no qualms. Like give it, give me more of that. And uh, like Jack Black didn't do anything wrong. Just that whole episode was like, mm -hmm. this was written in a series of books. This was the episodic book written for children by children. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, today Sorry. I was supposed to get I was supposed to get a Fondor Hallcraft Lego in the mail. Or the parts to build it. The custom instructions are out there. And it's not here yet. The parts didn't come. And I'm like... So, so Andor, good show. Yes, very good show. If you're still watching or listening, um, this is, well, we'll just call this the after show. No more. There, maybe <laughs> there'll be VR talk, but <laughs> probably not. Advanced Wars 2, 1 and 2 remake comes out tomorrow. On Switch. Yes. <laughs> I I'm haven't excited. used either one of my switches since you got me the real life Mario Kart cardboard thing for the floor and we had so much fun <laughs> that I bought a second switch with found the Luigi one or whichever one you got us I found the other one and I haven't played it since <laughs> I did the I same thing there. except for I, I play it every now and then just to chase the cats around but um <laughs> yeah, I really want to find some nieces or nephews to to really set that up and play with it. Like, but I love old school Nintendo. But the whole thing, like, I just don't. They, I can't. There's no nothing there for me. Yeah. So I play like an hour of Mario Kart every week for fun. But um, yeah. So Advance Wars yeah. One and Two remake comes out tomorrow. The new Zelda's next month, which I know you, you probably don't care much about, I don't think, but... From the footage I saw, it's just as gloomy, like, skybox shrunk as the first one. I'm like, I can't play this. It's hideous. 
but if you if you have any interest in Nintendo games, there's a voucher system. I bought you buy two vouchers for like a hundred bucks. You can use them on most games. I got both those games for like forty dollars off total. Do it hell. Because <laughs> wow. even the Switch that? games are going up up now. I think Zelda was seventy bucks, which better be good because <laughs> you know like girlfriend got me the switch and zelda because i was looking forward to zelda since they announced it open world games why not and as soon as i got it two minutes like i tried to play it and i was like this is like the the, the sky is just dim and dark and like the can't see and i was just like this is what is this? So then I have that don't ever turn it back on. But like as soon as we got it, like the next weeks, it seemed like there was an emulator and people were like, oh, look, I removed the weird closed in fog and the game was gorgeous. And I was like, oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> so then I, now I want to kind of play that in MUVR if it's yeah. usable. <laughs> Again, I already own the game and I own the system. I think I should be able to yeah. find it on an emulator legally, but. Um, yeah, I didn't, I never played much of that. So it sounded kind of fun. Some people hate some stuff about it. I I had fun with it, but it wasn't like what I wanted, but I spent enough time. I'll just play Wind Waker. (laughs) Yeah. Wind Waker is amazing. I'll just just play Wind Waker. (laughs) But yeah, that's, just want to throw that out there because I'll be doing that. I have tomorrow off for my, uh, I remember um, day and then, um, Setting up rock band and is it the 23rd playing Advance Wars Sunday. No, it's Sunday. Yeah. Okay. It's my you say tomorrow. What? I always do rock band or Jackbox party for my birthday. <laughs> Why not? Words. <laughs> Why not? Happy early birthday! Woo! Have I run out of credit from that <laughs> Castle Grayskull logo? From two years ago. <laughs> that thing was like. Th- 300 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is Christmas and birthday for like four years. <laughs> Every time we talk about it, you add a year to it. Because <laughs> I don't want to buy you anymore. Just no, I get it. <laughs> it's funny that I have three more presents waiting for you for that time to run out. <laughs> <laughs> like, PJ's going to love that. <laughs> but I should, shouldn't send it to him yet. <laughs> Anyway, happy birthday. Advance Wars, I remember having fun with that. You and Brazen were, like, yeah. addicted to that, like, nothing. So that'll be cool. Can you play it while you're playing Breachers? No. But they, they've added online and, like, like uh, user-made maps and all kinds of stuff. The only thing, they changed, like, the art style, which I think was a huge mistake. I'll still have fun with it, but, like, I'd rather have the old art style and just had, like, cleaner prettier graphics but can't have everything i want (laughs) but still a lot of fun i fucking love that game (laughs) yeah yeah what else yeah coming up before we end here um jedi survivor comes out a week from now you'll have to play that other one that's like 120 gigs on xbox i don't know what it is anything else so beware if you're getting it make some room (laughs) I don't have time to play them. Like I said, play the first one on easy. You feel like a real Jedi and you can get through it. Like the story is great. The the game is awesome. But I just, I hate like kind of in the same with the Mandalorian where like, you know, you're fighting and fighting and it's like, no one's getting hurt. Nothing's happening. You're just deflecting everything. And like, like I have a lightsaber. I should be able to walk up and stab anybody in that game. I mean, they do a good job with it because it's a game, but just put it on easy so it's one-hit kills like it should be. <laughs> Maybe I should. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I could get through that before the next one comes out. I'm like, no, you fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still playing Hogwarts, which is a fucking amazing game. Like, I don't know if they've patched that game since release, and that's fucking amazing to me in this day and age. It's beautiful. Yeah. The story is great. The mechanics are like it's just a great game. I'm playing so many things right now. <laughs> I know I'm at, and then there was that controversy about it, and it's like some people hate you for talking about it, and it's like, but yeah. really? I, I I don't know. I do not know if it's good, bad, or one or the other. So I haven't even looked at it because I mean, I got 
I still have the Witcher DLCs from Witcher 3 to play, and I own them on three different yep. platforms. Yep, I got to get through that too. Now that now that the second update for <laughs> Xbox has been out, to so really make it for X to, to play that? Um, or is that on Windows? Or is it every version of it? I, I'm going to not promise, but I think it's every version kind of got an upgrade. Check Steam. <sighs> All I want is a Rohan armor. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll shut up. We've already done our outro twice. <laughs> My again, please sign up. We're working on community things too, so there'll be a little bit easier way if anybody does want to play. You know, we'll, we'll get all that wrapped up. Yeah. Because shit like this is like, okay, that is inspiring me to make friends. <laughs> friends. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Love everyone. You. We're really signing off this time. Your champions. Everyone you is awesome. <laughs> Reach awesome. and clear on Zulu. If you get that, you can be our friend. You can be our friend. <laughs> <laughs>